having me. Hello, everyone. I am Miss Elizabeth Thompson, born and raised in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I moved to Atlanta a little bit after attending college for about five or six years, and I hope to be able to get into that a little bit more as we talk today, but I moved to Atlanta. That's where I met my amazing husband, and uh, we just recently relocated to Houston, Texas, so now I am a Texan. I think this is the place where I was always meant to be. I absolutely love, love Texas so very much. So I'm excited to be here with you guys, and I'm excited to talk. Oh, well, thank you. So um, let me get that. Let me get us back. Yeah, I guess we can say here. Yeah. So today, um, Elizabeth and I are talking about women in business, and she owns her own business. So I'm actually going to go ahead and ask her to, um, can you tell us what product or services that you offer? Absolutely. So the uh, service that I offer is an educational platform teaching people how to invest uh, in 2020 and beyond. And what I love about it is most people don't come from money and those that do don't necessarily pass down what they know. And so gratefully, by the grace of God, I'm able to uh, introduce people to this educational platform, teaching them how to make their money work for them, like the top 1% already are doing. And so we can have more than just a one percenter, but we can have, we can open up that and have more than, you know, just the top class of people, but start to branch off and, and hopefully have 20, you know, uh, 20%, 50% of people in our population that know how to make their money work for them. Oh, wow. That's what, well, we need to know more about that. So what does um, being a business owner mean to you and how did you become an entrepreneur? Yes. So I tell people that I actually didn't really know that I wanted to be a business owner right away. I started off in corporate America once I moved to Atlanta after being kicked out of college. Um, I didn't get kicked out, but I maxed out of my student loans. I didn't have the money to pay to go to college out of pocket. So I had a decision to make and I knew that I didn't want to be in Michigan. <laughs> so I decided to move to Atlanta. Then I met my husband. And I think that's what awakened the entrepreneur in me or the business owner in me because I realized I'm working now and I'm married and I don't want to have to be away from my husband 12 out of, hours out of a day. And, and that's when I started to say, okay, I need to figure out how I can be with my spouse and actually have a marriage and not feel like I was away from him all day long. So that's when the business owner awakened in me. And uh, I was introduced to the network marketing industry. And what I love about that is I get a chance to really help people uh, grow and evolve. And that's where my passion really is. Okay, so what is one thing, good or bad, that you have learned as a business owner? Yeah, one thing that I, I, I learned is that it takes time. <laughs> it's you know, you have to be willing to become and who you are right now is not the person that you will be once you uh, get to the level that you're looking to get. And that was one of the hardest things that I had to learn is that, okay, in order for me to become someone who is a business owner and entrepreneur makes a good, good, uh, you know, abundance in life, I had to um, I had to become a different person. I had to start to think like a wealthy person. I had to start to breathe and walk like a wealthy person. And that is not easy. I had to de-learn so that I could relearn because we're raised in a society today that teaches us to go to school, get a good job, and retire. And that's actually not the, the path that I want. Okay. So what um, should you say is your greatest accomplishment as a business owner? Yeah, so my greatest accomplishment, I'm going to use um, um, someone who I call a spiritual daughter to me. <laughs> I know mm -hmm. I'm young, but um, for me, uh, when I, I when I mention her as a spiritual daughter, it's because uh, I believe in transforming lives. And she's one of the greatest accomplishments that my husband and I have been able to um, see happen in our path to take someone who was um, battling depression, uh, low self-esteem, and uh, just, you know, was just looking for, you know, someone to believe in her and to see her now um, lost over, I believe, uh, 60 some odd pounds.
pounds um, to see her empowered and and living her best life is my greatest accomplishment. Um, I don't look at the finances. What we what our model over here is people over profit. And so um, I could even cry right now because I think uh, people look at it and they don't understand the power of helping other people. And that to me is is our greatest accomplishment. Yeah, well, I really like that because you know, um, whenever people get into business, um, the first thing that thinking about is money. I did that too. You know, when I first started, it was like, oh, I'm just going to go out there and make money. But I would say like maybe five years into the business, I realized that helping people was actually more important than, you know, making the money. Because the more people that you help, you know, the more people get to know you. And then you can, you know, actually make the money. Yeah, so that's good. So what's um, one advice? that um, maybe someone has given you that you can pass on to someone else, you know, who wants to start their own business? Oh, the, the advice that I would give is to step out there, to believe in yourself. I think the greatest advice is belief because a lot of people, they step out there, but they don't believe in themselves. They don't believe that they can do it. And I think that's why I, I love this so much because I love to speak belief into people and let them know you are you have permission to be great a lot of times we aren't given permission to be who we are uh, people want to control us they want us to be in the form that they desire for us to be instead of living out our fullest potential and our greatness which is in Christ and what I'll tell people is that you know when you're starting a business it's really about you taking ownership of your own life I think we put business in this huge mantra but really all it is is taking ownership for your life and deciding that you're going to believe for the blessings that were already passed down to you uh, was already declared over you and going into that a level of you know what I am worthy most times people don't receive what it is that they can receive and be at the level that they can be at because they don't believe that they're worthy or they don't receive it into their spirit. Fear creeps in, doubt creeps in, um, the fear of the unknown creeps in, all of these things. And so we decide, we tell ourselves that we can't have it, but that's absolutely not true. You can have it. And you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in the business that you're starting because if you don't believe in it, it's not going to move. Um, there's a verse that says, um, they that believe on me from their belly shall flow rivers of living water. And what I what that means to me is when it pertains to people is when you believe in yourself, when you believe in something that's bigger than you, um, rivers can flow, meaning that uh, life can flow, abundance can flow. Those things that were always intended on the inside of you to flow for you can finally come out because you believe. So that's the greatest advice that I would give to anybody is belief. What do you think um, will be the biggest challenge for the generation of women that are coming behind you? Oh, yeah, I was just uh, sharing this earlier is it's really not comparing yourself to other people. Um, I know we, our, our company just had a convention and there was a 19 year old um, making over six figures. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, I'm about to be 30. And, you know, that's pretty powerful that she did that at 19. <laughs> and so it's just, you know, as for the generation of young women, it's don't compare yourself because your story is your story. Your purpose is your story. And it's your purpose. And so nobody else is going to walk the path that you are supposed to walk. Nobody else can be another you. You're your only version of yourself in this world there's no carbon copy of you that can ever exist and so i just would say you know uh, don't compare your your success to anyone else's success because you don't know what that person had to go through you don't know why it is that god made it for you to go a little bit longer or some things that he wanted to take first so maybe you could relate to a different group of so there's a reason why your steps are, have been ordered the way that they have been. And don't compare yourself in business, um, in entrepreneurship, in anything that you do in life, because comparison is the thief of joy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Gosh, I got that. Comparison is the thief of joy. Yes. Don't compare yourself. I mean, just be yourself. So I, I agree. 
Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. So now, uh, what's the best way that our viewers can reach you so we can put it out there? Absolutely. So I say reach me on every social media platform, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, uh, or you can even call me or email me. I'm not opposed to that. I don't have a problem with um, people picking up the phone and calling my number. Uh, my Instagram is Mrs. Uh, M-R-S underscore E. Thompson. E. Thompson. T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. So that's a great starting point. But Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, Izzy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we'll talk later. Enjoy your evening.